back on, back on, Gertie Rude, back again, that Wednesday mood. Well, here I am, I'm back again, VooTubers. I've had a couple of days off, or, yes, yeah, say two days off. Yes, so I'm back. And today we are looking at this, because it's pretty much across all the headlines, in your Britannica, Britannia, or wherever it is, where we live, where I live. And on the far left is the rather gorgeous Rose Hanbury, Marchioness of Cholmondley, and in the middle is your William, and on the right is, well, we all know who that is, don't we, darlings? Yes, we do. Somebody that is, well, not that person that lives in Monty Shit Show. Let's just say that. Let's be nice. Let's not be a bitch because it's Wednesday, girl. And I thought what we'd do is we'd have a little look at seeing the reaction from the sadistic suck eggs bleed squad that despite her being forced to come out and divulge all her personal medical information much against her will uh they're still carrying on vtube viewers so i thought what we do is clutch one another and probably we're gonna have to i don't know wash our eyes and ears out because it gets really bad it's tisa tells da, da, da. one of the main squad is one of the most inarticulate and crazy ones. Come on then, let's hey, go. what's on. up, guys? How y'all doing? Hello. Today? Well, baby, if you are Rose Hanabry. Hanabry. Um, I guess you It's Hanabry, not Hannah Bevy. Go on. Really extending yourself to William and being with them in his oh, time and need. God. You guys, if you guys oh, don't know, God. Rose Hanabry isn't William's alleged favorite lover. No, 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 no. You stop those nasty rumors right now. She's not his lover full stop, my love. That was started by a journalist that was in the pay of the Montessori so bleeding uh, pair. It's just not true. It never happened. And it's just completely made up. But it fits your narrative. So whatever. Let's go on. Come on. Go on. Rosa's lawyer has Come into my parlor. Stephen Colbert, an American comedic comedy host. Mm. Stop it. Right. Well, let's let's stop you there because Stephen Colbert is about as funny as herpes. And it's being reported that the rather ravishingly good looking, very rich... And very well uh, situated in society, Rose Hambry, Marchioness of Cholmondley, has issued uh, a thing against him to sue him for slander. Which I don't blame her. To be fair, I'll hold her coat. Go on. Come on, let's go. Now, I do find it odd. Right? I don't think so. You find everything odd. Cease and desist to all the journalists that were had these rumours two years ago. Yes. People on Twitter, to I believe Tatler and all other magazines. Right. That said that Kate tried to phase out her royal rival. Again, we do not know. You know this how? And you're right, you do not know. So shut up. You're an American. You don't know anything about the British royal family. You just gossip, disinformation, misinformation. Because you're probably paid by the bleeding... Christopher pissed up, boozed up, and, well, her little lack of lights in Monty shit show. Go on. Of course, if Rose and William were having an affair, we Which do not. know. We do know that, according to Tatler, yes. he wanted her phased out because, I believe... Do you know why they're probably not having an affair? Just off the top of my head, dear teaser. Because, obviously, unlike you, these people seem to have morals. And, I mean, I'm at the bottom of society's pile and even I wouldn't go out with my husband's best friend. Do you get me? Capiche? <sighs> Deary me, it's absolutely ridiculous. Stop. I mean, not being nasty. Yeah, Rose Hanbury's all right looking. But look at Kate. Come on. Give it a rest. Come on. Why? Uh, uh, more morals in their little finger. Come on. Over Rose and William right. were having uh, close dinners. Yes. Uh, without Kate around. But no, you know, they it's weren't. Normal, it's normal. I'm sure you're bestie. And has... even if they were, it doesn't mean they're doing the bleeding one, two, buckle me bleeding shoe teaser. Be quiet. Go on. As friends, has dinner with your man while you're not around. Yes. Right? Well, you see, in Britain, society doesn't work like that, you see. Especially the upper echelons of society. They can actually manage to eat a meal without getting down and dirty, teaser. I mean, you shouldn't really judge them by your standards. Well, definitely don't judge them by your standards, darling. Go on. In any case. Right, come on, hurry up. Because I'm busy. Rose also right. is being dragged because I did a video about oh it. Oh, my God. Apparently oh, she did a video about it. So therefore, probably it's true because whatever. Oh, actually, I love that photograph on the left of Rose. Can you see that properly? Is my light not very good? Oh, go on and, and look at it. On It's on... Uh, yeah, tease yourself. 
Look at that photograph of her. It's very sort of, uh, yeah, circa 1930s, isn't it? Retro, lovely, beautiful. In Hall, they have been looting China and they have uh, artifacts from the Queen Dynasty. Spoiler alert, it doesn't sound like they're giving them back to China, but if I was China... Oh, I would... come on. There's not a bleen aristocratic house in the whole bleen country and every museum in our country has got something from somewhere. For crying out loud, stop trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. There's nothing happening. Stop. Demand they be Go on. That because that's just disrespectful. How are you? Oh, my name have... teaser and all my content is absolutely a load of old BS. But ah, it's up to me. Go on. Have allegedly stolen, according to the yes, people allegedly. Of the Republic of China, stolen artifacts. Don't think they're a republic, are they? Like lounges. China. <laughs> looking like some glamour, a uh, boho style. Like, well, she is. Bold. She's beautiful. Yes, but anyway, right? I think she's pregnant uh, in that one, if you look at her. She's holding her baby, you know, my darlings. She does look rather ravishing, doesn't she? She looks like what one might call a lady with the backdrop of an arist aristocratic mansion or what palace or, well, it won't be a palace, castle. Yes, because I think every, royal pa every palace in Britain is owned by the royals, apart from Blenheim Palace, and that's a whole other story. Yes. Uh... Wait, come oh, on, hurry up, I'm bored. All connection. However, Jesus the news, Christ, these people. International, so the, the international, the news has said that Prince <sighs> William and Rose Hannah... She shows all these pictures to illustrate her point and to make the point to her viewers that look at who they are, look at what they're like. And actually what she's doing, it actually showcases two really good looking women. So, do you know what I mean? Carry on. Suffering so Go on, hurry up. To protect Kate. Right. And the children. Yes. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Prince William of Rose Hannah. Oh like, dear, your little acolytes hit it up to his neck, in it? <laughs> Christopher pissed up, boozed up. Yes. The Marklets flying monkey. They've pushed it too far this time. Because very slowly, very insidiously, and with a lot of charisma, and, well, subtle nuance, and very majestic charm, Little bit, bit by bit, drip by drop, is coming out. And I think the fight back is finally beginning. Not before bloody time. Go on, Teaser. I dare you. Go on. They're saying are risking their reputation yes. to keep Kate Middleton stress-free. Uh -huh. Prince William and British socialite, oh, yeah, uh, socialite yeah. Rose. Hey, you want to see the article today in the Daily Mail about Christopher Pissed Up, Boost Up oh, it's in England? Oh, I don't know whether it's online. Go and have a look online. I think it's Daily Mail online. You can get it. Yes, and they all forget that Lord Wolvermere, that owns the bleeding male, is friends with, well, let's just say the top echelons of society and, dare I say, royalty, my darlings. Yes, I do. I do. I'll just say it. Royalty. There you go. I've said it. So I think, because they don't make any knee-jerk reactions, I mean, you know, they wouldn't shout if they were on fire, this lot, would they? But slowly, slowly, my darlings, it's beginning. The tide... Is turning, darlings. Go on, Rose teaser. Hanbury Boring, bleeding mare. Risk the reputation to keep the ailing Princess Kate stress-free during her oh, cancer battle. Shut up. Rose and William, who became the target of conspiracy theorists during mm. Kate's absence from the public eye. By people like you, teaser. Ha, 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 ha. Funnily enough, go on. Um, why don't they talk about Tatler? Tatler just did mm. a cover article about William, about how he's faring. Right. Why Kate's going through all this. William is a bum and a coward. That's oh. my opinion. He could be the next king of England, but I think the next king of England. Well, William's a bum and a coward. He's not the one sat on bleeding YouTube spouting a load of vitriolic nonsense that's disinformation, misinformation, which your paymasters uh, posture that they are 100% against. Yes, and they wish to eradicate it, my darlings. I tell you what, you lot, you're just willing dupes because when it does come on top... Those two in Montecito will act like they've never heard of you. Yes, they will. So good luck with that. Go on. When Go on. Hurry up. Anyway, right? Right. Um, right. Um, 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 and at the um, end indeed. of the day. Yes. What? Like, what? huh? What? I, 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 <laughs> Tatler was the ones that started the world rival thing. Tatler, uh. I believe that magazine put out the article. No, Tatler did. Uh, they picked it up for what was coming out of Montecito for one particular journalist <laughs> that was fed the story by, guess what? You know who's. Go on. The Kate when it rose, phased out. Yes. Tatler was the one. Anyway, oh, yeah. 
Let me know if I'm wrong. Last time I read, I heard Oh, I'll happened. stop you. I'm just letting you know. Guess what? You're wrong. 100% wrong. You should stop talking about our royal family and stop spreading misinformation and disinformation because I think you'll find that your little icon doesn't like it. Carry on. Go on, crack on. Anyway, so it's weird. Right, anyway. Then, but then again, William likes Why them. are you whispering? Yeah, I've got you full. You're not full. Talk up. To other people that he supposedly love. <laughs> Harry. <coughs> Rose and William became the target. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. They have suffered much. Because to protect the Princess of Wales and her children from the heat of social media attacks. The well, yeah, they have. Quiet and did not react to the allegations. That yeah, they have. They have suffered. Needlessly, when they're going through a cancer battle. For hundreds of channels and hundreds of pundits like you. Well, you're not a pundit. You're just a prat. Yeah. Legacy media and social media. And, of course, the legacy media is now leading the clarion call for restrictions to be put on free speech on social media. Because of people like you. Using Kate... As the, well, the flag of it all, really. Yes, oh, look at us, look. Oh, we need to stop all this happening. Yeah, you should only listen to legacy media because social media is full of trolls and disinformation. Teaser. He was focusing on his, on her, his wife's health yeah. and the kids' upbringing at the difficult... Oh, dear God, be quiet and hurry up. I'm busy. Time on the family. That is very, very, very... You're not bringing anything to the table. You just say the same stuff. Keep quiet. Why yeah, keep quiet. That's a brilliant idea. I've got the most brilliant idea, and I think you've hit the nail on the head, darling. Keep quiet. Can't wait to see Boozy's downfall. He deserves it. And the, take that bloody Omer Scobie and Sarah Day or all the other cretins. Go on. You are tending Rose's bushes in her garden <laughs> well let's put it this way we'd never be tending your bush my darling go on he's a freaking visitor yes at, uh, Hall. he likes right. to go there a lot you know yes. anyway rose who had already been who had already rejected reports of affairs oh with God. william also proved to be a good friend to princess kate as she did not fuel the fire exactly with a good friends don't have a lean what's it behind the back of their best friend her husband is William's best friend. She is also Kate's friend or best friend or one of her closest friends. The pair of them are, let's say, a foursome with these two. And I don't mean in a one-two buckle machine type of way. I mean in an actual normal type of way, Tisa, darling. Yes, yes. And people, I don't know, obviously, in your circles behave like that. But you see, in the echelons of society in Britain, they don't behave like that, darling. If they're going to have a bit of how was your father, it's definitely not with their best friend's husband, forward slash wife. Go on. With, her, with any loose comments during right. the already tense situation. Oh, I feel sorry, sorry for that, that lady. Kind of oh, dear, Rose. that lady in black. You oh, dear, darling. Angel. You are a friend. That is really like a thorn amongst the roses, that poor lady in black. That would be me, that would. <laughs> Actually, I'd just stand out of the shot of the picture, to be fair, because I'd just ruin it. Go on. Come on. Every woman be blessed with a friend like Rose. No, yeah, well, actually, yeah, she's a good friend. Kate's alleged connection. Wait, right. William's alleged connection. Well, he has a connection to Rose, but nobody knows if they're actually sleeping together. But they took many... But nobody it. knows it. You've just said it. Nobody knows that. But you're coming on here nearly every day saying they are. So, do you know what I mean, Sharp? Dinners alone together. And right. William's alleged connection to Rose yes, um, yes, yes, yes. first called attention in 2019 and right. some claimed. Yes. Actually, I think that that originated from Harry. I think Harry said something to Meghan. She blew it all out of proportion. This is my opinion. And obviously, allegedly, because it's only my opinion. And guess what? I wasn't there. Unlike Teaser, who seems to sleep under their beds. Uh, yeah, I think it was a bit of pillow talk between Harry. Harry mentioned something. And I think from that, the mega light took it and ran with it and now we're in this shitstorm and it sort of uh um actualized itself at the same time that kate was off of uh out of view due to this mystery illness that was then ranked up to be more than what it was uh in a horrible way started by the sussex squad really and then picked up by the legacy media and a lot of the media on the left most people on the right didn't care do you know what I mean? don't care i'm not on right or left, I don't care about any of them. I hate them both. Right, go. Come on. That the relationship was let's, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sattler claimed that, and William is now doing solo. She looks lovely. Magazine. 
She was so lovely. The rumor appears to have entered into the mainstream media recently right. as a result of another joke made about it on The Late Show with oh. Stephen Colbert. Yeah. Rose's lawyer... She's that's taking him to court. She's suing him for slander, and I don't blame her. Good. As I said at the beginning, I'll hold your coat, love. Now, listen, Teaser, you bought me stupid. You're not saying it. I think you've had a bad night the night before or something. You've been up on the sniff or something. God knows what's going on with you. But you need to stop. Stop flapping your gums. And as I say, when it comes on top, right, the Montecito duo will behave like they never met you. Uh, to start with, isn't Harry, uh, well, he's got a bit of trouble with P. Diddley. He's been diddling, hasn't he? Yes. So, and unfortunately, they've got a photograph of him with P. Diddley Diddley which is obviously what they're going to do because it's a load of crap. He just met him once, like, in 2011. So I think it's a thing by the the York family, too, because obviously Harry didn't do anything wrong. And it sort of comes up that, you know, to have a photograph taken with somebody, like their dad did, uh, doesn't mean anything, really, because straight away everybody knows that to have a photograph with somebody like P. Diddy doesn't mean anything. You know, I, suppose, I mean, if it was the other way round, you, you lot would be, oh, you'd be furminating and fuminating or whatever the word is, wouldn't you? Oh, you'd be going crazy, you lot. But us lot with the brain know that there's probably nothing in it. He's just been mentioned as one of the celebrities. Or, or is it a little brick back via the palace? Yes, I don't think so, because you can see William in the back. It was in some, they cropped some of the photos, but the actual real photo, you can see William in the back. It's a reception uh, held after the Tribute to Diana concert or something or other that no one's heard of in 2011. That's all there is to it. Nothing more than that. So there we are, teaser. You need to get yourself a job, love. That's what you need to do. Yes, you do. Anyway, I'm fed up already. Bye bye now. I'm sorry I'm a bit flat today because it's a boring subject. And, yeah, go and have a look at what's going on. It's Christopher boozed up, pissed up. Yeah! <laughs> uh, I'm not going to name any channels because I don't want to say anything that's going to get them or me into any trouble. But just Google it and go and have a look and you'll see all sorts of uh, opinion pieces, let's say, on legacy and social media. So I love you and leave you wherever you are in the world. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening or good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. Yes, all things being equal. And if I haven't been boozed, uh, I'll be here. Bye-bye now.